Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, or Louie's channel. That's our Frenchie. Um, he'll be coming home in three more weeks, so we're making him a YouTube. I'm Savannah, I'm his mom. This is Jason. Jason. My husband, this is Louie's dad. This is Chloe. This is Louie's little sister, or well, big sister. She'll be 10 in November. She's already making use of some of his stuff. But we're preparing for him. This will be our first French Bulldog. Um, so we did a lot of research on some of this stuff and then some of it's just stuff we thought was cute and we liked. Um, the only thing I haven't bought is, I guess, shampoo. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. So if you recommend whatever you give your Frenchie a bath in, let me know because I know they have allergies. I don't know if he will, I hope not. Um, but just to be safe, I'd rather put them on something that's hypoallergenic. But I'll just start with his only little piece of clothing, and it is from Big Pup and Thread. And that's what the packaging looks like. And it's really cute, everything that comes in it. It comes with your own little card, a little personal thank you note, which I thought was sweet. And then these little treats, and this is unicorn shake, but I've seen these at... Petsmart. Petsmart. Petsmart, and they carry this brand, but it smells really good, so when he gets bigger, I will let him try these. Here, I'll move it to the side. And then we got him this little shirt. This was the extra small, the smallest size they had, and it's so cute. It just says Easy Attic. I got the little crinkly right now. And it's just got like the bleach stains all over it. And I thought it was really pretty. Um, my husband collects Yeezys and so does our kids. So this would be cute for him to match. So I just thought that was really cute. So if more about them clothes, I'll let you know. This is just one item I got from Hobby Lobby. I looked everywhere for a basket for him that wasn't too tall and maybe something I could wash. And I thought this would be good and it was something like not like wicker where he couldn't chew and tear it up or choke on anything, but it's just a chicken wire basket with this cloth insert that is washable. So I thought that was really good for a puppy. And this was usually $14.99, but they had it on sale for $7.50 and that's what we paid for it. So I thought it was cute and it matches the decor in our home just to throw his little toys in. And then these three little toys here were just from Dollar Tree. They actually have some really cute toys. This little rope knot, and it has the two sides that you can play with your dog. And they had a bunch of different colors, I think, of that. And I know these little balls, they had a few colors to pick from. But these are pretty sturdy, so I didn't think that would get stuck in his teeth or anything, or he wouldn't choke on it. So always check Dollar Tree. This, um, I would like people's suggestions on dog food for your Frenchie, if you want to comment below. Um, he did a lot of research on dog food, not me as much as him, and we wanted to try grain-free um, because I've seen that Frenchies usually have a lot of allergies, so we thought we'd just start with something grain-free. And then this is just a taste of the wild, let's see, high prairie puppy recipe with roasted bison and roasted venison and a grain-free diet. And I think it's little bites. How much protein is this size? 28%. 28% protein. Small kibble size. Let's see, I'll show you the back. So if anyone has given this to their dog, let us know below, or if there's anything else that's worked for you. Um, I know a lot of people do raw diets for their green cheese. Um, I don't really want to start them on that. I'd rather have foods with all the, those the vitamins. They get in there, everything. everything they get. So just let us know. Um, like I said, we're new at this whole Frenchie thing and we're trying to do everything right by him. So if you have any suggestions, please let us know. And that was from Petco. And how much was that? Do you remember? $12.99. $12.99. It was on sale. $12.99. And that is five pound bag. So we'll see how long that lasts. All right, here, help me bring this in front of us. Um, I was going to get a crate on Amazon. I looked at quite a few, um, but they had a lot of bad reviews, like with sharp edges and pieces. So I thought we would just try this one. Um, this was from PetSmart. It was $39.99, and I think that's the everyday price. And this is the 30 by 19 21 
So I thought this was plenty big, in, big enough for him, especially being little and as he grows, but if he outgrows it, then we'll get him another one. But I didn't think it was a bad price. And I also bought a cover to go over it on Amazon, but I'll link it below since I didn't have it come in stock yet. So everything else from PetSmart, I always look, they always have like, it seems like their toys are always, they have clearance sections. All right, treats. Again, we tried to go with the grain free, but I think we're gonna try something else after this, um, this is the Bill Jack, and we've had dogs before, and we use Bill Jack food, and it has good protein to fatten them up. But this has 24%, and this has no grains. It's chicken and sweet potato. They're just really little bites, and it was $9.99. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they have a sale sometimes on these, but we'll try these at first, and then maybe switch to something with the same dog food brand, or just fruits. Because we, well, he's did a lot of research for like, bananas, strawberries, carrots, all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. So that's what we're going to try for him. And then we got him a bunch of little more toys. They have the Frisbees all the time, 99 cents. This little minion, this one is Larry, but it's the crinkle. And it's got a little squeaky in it. And this was only like $1.97, and it was on clearance as well. This, what is this, a cobra? Just a long cobra snake. It might not be a cobra, I don't know. Um, but it has, how long would you say that is, two feet? Longer than that. It's almost big. Three, almost three foot. Yeah. So each little part of it has like, it makes different noises. Like the, this is crinkly, his head makes, um, I know it's sweet. Thanks, yeah. This is perfect. This one's good in the bad one. Well, this part did squeak, or it's supposed to. I, I think it's broke. I can feel it. But this one, and each one makes like different noises and crinkles. But we just thought this would be something really funny to watch a little puppy try to carry it in, uh, around and play with. And it was only $2.50 on clearance. So I would just check your local store. This one was, which one is that? This one was $2.97. I thought this was cute because his grandpa likes cowboy hats, so I just thought it was funny. And it has a little ropes on the end, and I think it's got a squeaky in it too. And I just thought it would be really cute for him. And then I got one of these stuffers, kind of like the Kong things that you put treats in. And it says it cleans their teeth as well. This was like three fifty, I want to say. They had these in set on sale at uh, both the pet smarts I've been in lately. It does smell kind of funny though. It smells sweet to me. So you might want to. Of course, I'm gonna wash everything before I give it to him. But it has a weird smell. It smells it? like pet smart. <laughs> it smells weird. And then they had this. Did we get this yesterday? This nope. little rope toy. No, the first thing we bought. Uh. I don't remember how much this one was. Do you? Nope. I don't, but this was from PetSmart as well. And it has a little squeaky in it and a, like a double-sided thing Actually, where you I can play. Actually, I think we got this at TJ Maxx. Did we? I believe so. the tag. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking PetSmart because it's the same brand as the other toys. Okay, that makes sense. But yeah, so. I just thought that was really cute. And then he has a four wheeler this color. So I think that's why I picked this one. That's why I'm guessing. <laughs> then we got him this little collar just for the summer. I thought it'd be cute. It's very patriotic. America, baby. Mm -hmm. This is the small 10, 14 inch and it's adjustable. So I just thought that'd be cute, but we will use the harness when we go for walks. But I do want to teach them to wear a collar that way if he runs out the house he has his tags on him and everything like that it's by top Paul, and this was $9.99 um, and they had a bandana one too that was really cute but I didn't think a puppy would that would irritate it so I didn't get on that one but it was on sale for like let's say seven dollars show them that last I hate to show them <laughs> okay the rest is from TJ Maxx um, I have always loved shopping at TJ Maxx for everything under the sun. So I always check there for everything that I want. Um, but I found this cute little squeaky toy that looks like a puppy for $2.99. It's really soft, so I thought it'd be cute for a puppy. 
and it's by the brand Outward Hound. So I just thought that was really cute. And then I got on these little nail clippers and it's like a marble look around it. And it's just really pretty for $4.99. Um, these are old. These were Chloe's. She has a pink pair now, um, but this is like some pottery I collect, but you can find it at um, TJ Maxx. Usually these littler bowls and they have bigger ones and they have cat ones, um, but this size here is usually $5.99 and there's all kinds of different sayings, but this is what he's going to use at first if he's able to. If not, we'll have to um, figure something out. But yeah, suggest that too. If I know it said that they like elevated foods or what's amazing. It makes the meat slower. Really a little thing. Like what do you use to feed your Frenchie? Um, Cause I know I've seen sometimes if it's too deep, they can fall forward in the food. So we're just trying to like learn everything we can. So Chloe, <laughs> okay. Well, we bought this to go in his crate and it's um, double-sided, but it's- all right, I'm sorry I gotta move you a minute. Here, you wanna sit on mama's lap? Come here, you sit with mama. All right, we bought uh, this reversible little bed for him. <laughs> this reversible bed for him to go in his crate. Um, I didn't want something too big that would take up the whole crate, so this will take up like most of it and give him a little bit of room for like his food or water bowl or toys or whatever we keep in there with him. Um, this one was uh, 24 by 19 and it's got like this, I don't know, textured pattern on this side and then like velvet on this side. Corduroy maybe? Yeah. Yeah, it's just like corduroy. And this is only $7.99 at TJ Maxx. So our um, store didn't have a lot because they haven't been stocking like usual, but they usually do have a good pet selection. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm gonna show brother's bed. Okay, here you go. I don't know how she's gonna do with him because she's used to being the only dog, so. She yeah. hates dogs. Yeah, we'll see. That's gonna be interesting because I know Frenchies like to play um, and she doesn't like to play. She just likes to nap and eat. And eat, sleep, drink, and repeat. Yeah, that's it. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but she'll be on his channel some too, I'm sure. But uh, this is his little bed, and it's by Nan Dog Pet Care. It says provide cool and warm comfort. I don't know, but it's like a velvet inside. It's really soft and plushy, and it has this really like gray. I don't want to say it's like. I don't know. It's not flannel. What is that? I don't know. It's just it's a nice like texture size. So I'm sure you can just start in the washing machine and wash it. Um, but I thought it was cute. It had this little Frenchy looking logo on the front of it. So I thought it was cute. Um, and it matches the house. And it wasn't that much. It was $19.99. Yeah, ma'am. Alright, that's everything, ain't it? Yep. Alright. For that's, now. That's everything we've bought for now. Um, I'll link below the little cover I bought for them. Um, but any suggestions for anything French Bulldog related? We had an uh, uh, English Bulldog for years, but I know they're a little different um, than Frenchies. So if you have any advice for first time Frenchie parents, please let us know. Um, and his Instagram is what, Louis. Louis the, here we'll show you a picture of it. Louis the Tan and Blue Frenchie. I'll blue show and you. Tan. Louis's Instagram is Louis the Blue and Tan Frenchie. This little picture of him, he is three and a half weeks old now, so he's a cute little guy. We can't wait for him to be home. Big he is. He yeah. got big he is. He does. He's getting fat. He's like the little greedy one. I'll just show y'all a few pictures of him. Can you see it, Peyton? Yeah. And then that's the first time or the second time we saw him right there. But he'll be home in three more weeks. So again, any advice? Um, Please just comment below and uh, please be friends with Louie on Instagram, comment and subscribe and we'll see y'all next time. Bye y'all.